new number two. Who is number one? You are number six. I am not a number. I am a free man. <laughs>
have these cars uh, in sort of ideal conditions here, haven't we, with these, these, these marvellous winding and well-surfaced roads and these beautiful sunny days. I wonder if uh, open-top motoring is always like that there. Well, that's the problem, isn't it, really, that it's a, it's a sort of form of masochism. <laughs> It's all right when the weather's nice. It's like getting on a motorcycle. I only ever do it these days when the sun's shining, you can get out in the open. Great. Then it's marvellous. When the weather's bad, it's terrible. You've got the wrong idea of that sort of motoring. You, you do it because you like being out in the open air, you like the sunshine. It doesn't matter if it's raining because it goes over the top. You know, that's half the fun of it. Well, it, it sometimes goes over the top, but in the case of the catering, it comes around the side of the windscreen and it's sort of straight in the uh, right eye. But um, I, I think um, what it today has proved is that uh, driving without side screens or side windows really is a misery, unless you're prepared to wear because goggles buffeting, or, a, or a full face helmet, I think, in the, especially in the case of the catering. Because of the buffeting? Indeed. In a way, that shows up just how sophisticated the modern saloon car is, because we're so used to high comfort levels and low noise levels that we notice it very much more when we are out in the open air. In a car like this, you're right out there with the countryside. You can hear the lambs bleating in the, in the meadows. It's just you a lovely thing. You can't hear the lambs beating in a cater of seven. I mean, the, the <laughs> roar from that exhaust. But I think the, the fun factor really goes up with the, the, with the further you get away from the normal motoring conditions. So we're normally sort of warm and soft and cosseted and, and quiet. These, these are loud and noisy and windy and, and really quite uncomfortable. Especially the case of the, the caterham, as well as the, the lambs in the fields, you can actually uh, hear the blue bottles bouncing off your teeth, you know. <laughs>